It's time for another Mario Golf game from Nintendo, and the first Mario Golf we've seen since World Tour released on the 3DS in 2014. While it initially took me a while to get used to the differences between Mario Golf and games I loved in the past like everybody's golf, I eventually realized that the charm of the Mario Golf franchise came from its quirky abilities and features that made it more than just a golf game. And so, this is also where I find myself a little underwhelmed by Super Rush on Nintendo Switch. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot to like here, and the gameplay is enjoyable. It's just that I feel like it plays things a little safe. The new Super Rush mode adds a new element to the concept of golf, with players teeing off and then rushing off to get to their ball. I just wish that there was a bit more to the rush element, like possibly something like a Mario Kart race, and with more use of powers and ways to trip up your opponents. I did however quite like a battle mode that was included that has everyone in an open course arena, fighting to see who can get three holes first, complete with obstacles and abilities that mess everyone around. A cross country mode also offered a bit of a unique take on the usual formula by requiring that you plan the order in which you complete holes and navigate the course to finish under a certain amount of strokes. The adventure mode also offers some fun challenges and ways of playing, but again, it's a little safe and even borders on being a little boring. I was a little surprised to find that Super Rush is also a little rough around the edges visually. The rush element actually seems to have robbed us of nicer course side camera angles of shots, and I was surprised to see the dynamic resolution took some pretty hefty dips, leaving the game with very muddy visuals at times. It's neat that it comes with multiplayer modes for both online and same room, and the ability to swing the Joy-Con like a club goes down great with the young ones. Mario Golf Super Rush is still a pretty fun outing on the Switch, but fails to deliver anything wacky and creative enough to really make it stand out from other games you've played in the past.